I've been sitting in this comfy chair for a long time now, never noticed how comfortable it is, almost like a lounge chair. Eames? Lounge chair? Got the creepy laugh. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So this chair, let's, let's just do some quick blocking out and then we'll uh, move on. So this is, this is way more rounded than I started drawing it there. Oh man, this is this is this is one of my favorite stories. When I was studying uh, at uni, this so this was not here in the Netherlands, but still back in Romania, I was studying for mechanical engineering, and I had a side job as a children's book uh, illustrator and editor for a very small publishing house back in my town. And I think we had student days going on. And during student days, all the students just go crazy. They don't really go into their classes. The professors know not to give them anything hard because it's just, yeah. All the students are just drinking. It's the whole week long. You have all sorts of uh, sports activities and you have student teams and they're competing against each other. And, uh, of course, a lot of drinking and partying. And work doesn't care about that. So, I, I, as I said, I was doing this on the side. And, yeah, they just, they just don't care if, you, <laughs> if you're drunk or not or hungover or not. And I had to draw birds. Like, I had to illustrate birds for... Uh, I, I, I don't remember why. I just knew that I had to draw several birds. And I was sitting with my back to the door of the office and I was the only one in the office. And I just had, I think I was drawing on, on paper back then. And I just had a drawing pad on my lap and I just like hung my head. And I was just sleeping there. And when the door opened, I woke up and I just continued drawing. I think that day, like all day long, all day, I, I was there for like half a day for four hours, but I drew like three birds, which is ridiculously little. <laughs> but it was, I just, I remember that nobody caught me. And now I, I couldn't care less if, if they hear this, because I know for sure that they're not listening to this. But uh, yeah, that was, that was a fun time. Uh, let me half this, so, just so we see where the center is. Same there. I know last time I drew this, it was definitely digital because I just, I was more comfortable with uh, proportions and changing things. Uh, can you draw your number one favorite Mario game? Oops, I don't have one. Uh, never had a Nintendo when growing up, so I never got into the whole Nintendo games. Uh, girlfriend has a Switch, but well, we we, pr we play what's it called uh, Mario Kart every now and then, but she's just too good at it, so she gets bored if if she plays with me. Uh, okay, let's let's do. The bottom, but yeah, I do not have favorite Mario games. I uh, most well, I do, okay, I don't want to speak for all Eastern Europeans, but all Eastern Europeans I knew didn't have consoles. We all had computers, so we sort of got indoctrinated into PC Master Race. And that's uh, that's where I will. That, that, that's that's the hill that I will die on. The PC Master Race hill. It's one leg. We have another leg there, and then a leg back there. Yeah, 
have you played Bowser's Fury? That one was amazing, like B-O-T-W mixed with Mario. Breath of the Wild. Uh, no, I have, I have not. It's, it's, it's just, yeah. There's nothing appealing about Mario to me. I just, I, I don't understand it. It's, I'm happy that other people love it and find it interesting. I just, I cannot understand what's, uh, what's interesting about that world. It's just me. It's, it's fine. It's fine if people like or dislike games. Um, do industrial designers also model stuff in Maya Blender or CAD programs or is it just designed by Sketch? Uh, no, they, they have to. They have to learn CAD modeling. Like sketching is only quick communication. Sketch, like in many ways, sketching could be called, like I wouldn't say outdated, but you need sketching less than modeling if you're doing product design. Sketching is there for early idea development and ideation, but if you want your product to actually work, you need to model it, you need to test it, you need to give it to mechanical engineers to test whatever you're doing. So yeah, definitely industrial designers do need to know CAD. And they usually teach it as well, so it's not a problem. And this comes here, this would be something like that. Uh, I was doing automotive design which was the hardest and most fun design course during my study years. And I know there were one or one student, like we were forced to draw cars, so that, that was a thing. And it was good because I learned a lot from that. But there, in the end project, like the rendering, there was at least one guy I remember who didn't do like hand rendering at all. He just did everything in alias which sort of makes sense because Alias is the one of the main uh, apps, well, apps, CAD programs that uh, car designers use. So he didn't draw anything, everything was just rendered. I feel like I made this a bit too big, but we're gonna stick with it now. Yeah, it should have been here. We're not gonna stick with it. I'm gonna cut it a bit shorter. It happens sometimes. Uh, oh, I want to play Mario Kart against your girlfriend. I was good at it back in the day. Kim, you are invited for Mario Kart next time you guys are here, but uh, I must say, I see this not a lot of chance for you. I, I mean, you had to be really good just seeing how good my girlfriend is. Which is funny because I'm relatively acceptable. Wow. I I'm not I, I, I don't suck completely in normal car car racing games. I'm, I I like rally usually, but Mario Kart is just something that uh, I can't really get used to. Like we always, I don't know, 500 CC is the hardest difficulty and she just beats all the enemies there and I can't really go higher than 200 or 250 because it's just too hard for me there. But she, yes, yeah, for her to be interesting, we would have to play in the, in the 500 CC, which I just cannot do. All right. Uh, so we have 50, 100, 150 and 200, yeah. So then then usually I, I plateau out at 100 and she needs 200 to have fun. Uh, Happy Blue Fishes, do you still sketch with Procreate on tablet? I have tried your brush setup. Uh, yes, I do. There, flip around. So this is, this is the last thing I did uh, in Procreate. With with the with the brush that you tried out probably, same brush. 
but uh, I generally prefer my uh, my iPad iPad my um, Intuos. It's just more fun for me. I as as I as I was talking before about the whole uh, PC Master Race. I just like sketchbook slash Photoshop more on uh, on my computer than drawing on an iPad. Uh, have you done some futuristic architecture sketches? Uh, yeah, I did do futuristic architecture sketches not too often. Like I know there is one on my Instagram about uh, Tehran, but I usually I'm not that good with architecture, so I try to not do too much. I find architecture to look really good, but I can't quite hit the looseness that uh, that I see proper architects. So there's there's a very cool looseness in architecture that I don't quite have. I uh, don't quite know how I'm going to solve the whole gray situation. Actually, I know. I'm gonna use my style files. Bam! Problem solved. NG5. Oh yeah, actually, first let me draw in these. Uh, the urban sketches look cool though when you do them, but that's not really... Yeah, that's the thing, so it's not really architecture. Like, when you say architecture sketches, I always think of those designs, right? That uh, that are like side views or... Like, I had an architecture client once and they needed me to draw some architecture, but then in industrial designery style, so I was doing sort of an amalgam between industrial design and architecture. Uh, nice car sketch. I see you used some layers. Do you have any advice how to separate the layers? Uh, yeah, I had it in one of my previous videos, but I'll say it again. So I usually have, because you can see here as well, I have lines. Uh, then we go all the way down. I have a base color. Then I have like several, depending on how many layers you want of actual render slash color layers. Then on top of that you do uh, shadows and then on top of that I do a highlight. And then sometimes I do an extra highlights or F effects. The stuff like white lines and stuff like that all the way on the top of it. Let's go one lighter even, NG3, because this is the thick one. I'm gonna leave a white area there for the light. And there we can come back with the NG5. So I feel yeah, we have a little bit of NG5 going around the whole, the whole thing. Like that. And I'm going to emphasize this cutting line, which is not in there, so it doesn't, wouldn't make sense, but I just, I like it. There we go, emphasized. Uh, where's my three? I wanna use my three more here as well, even though mm, 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 I could stick with the four. So let's see. Oh, not the thin part. These are darker spots. I feel okay with coming in with a thick there and then we can do a couple of the folds. Honestly, I, I'm not sure who this marker is for, 
because it's not a chisel tip. Also, this is super sharp. I think maybe graffiti artists because Stifile is marketing a lot for graffiti artists. I don't know. But I, I got used to it. I did get these because they were on sale. So it was actually a good price. This one again, just make the underlines a little bit stronger. So here we need the separation. And also, as I said, these bottoms. Something like that. Uh, have you seen the comic Dracula Donald? No, definitely not. I don't really know any comics with Donald's. So I was, uh, well, not surprised, but I'm always a little bit surprised how popular Donald Duck is here in the Netherlands. Let's go with the darker for that one. Uh, I guess the top part of the chair is flat. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, I just realized that. <laughs> uh. Very good, Kim, very good. Now I'm just gonna take this. I'm just gonna try and hint at these. I don't really care about the legs that much. Actually, just to have some more fun. There we go. Now we have a little bit of uh, artistic flair to this thing. Yeah, this is not doing much. Should have started with this. But maybe the darker one. too strong with the dark but I do want to try this one let's see if it uh, let's give it a second uh, there's a really nice white light reflection from the ground uh, I want to do a little bit of blue because I, I feel like I see a bit of blue there as well but we have our white pencil somewhere in here making noise next to the mic again sorry guys well, it's a bit visible It turns it a bit... No, no, there's, there's some blue that's visible there. Let's... I can work with that. I'm gonna come in with some, with some white and it should be... should be a okay. probably go over this with my browns again because I want a bit more uh, contrast in those lines but this one should help a bit There's your chair. And that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye bye.